Hey guys, it's Chris from Troll Heart Infinity, and today we are going to be doing another Civ video. I know you guys are excited. Now, before we get into it, I want to go ahead and show you a little setup here. So, I had started like way, or, like right here, I think this is where I started at, and I played with the Egyptians. So, I decided, so that I could see the hill up here, that um, it would be better to settle up there. I went ahead and went from here, went up here, and noticed that there was more desert up here. So I took another risk and came up here and realized, hey, now I have four desert spots as the Egyptians. And as it goes up, I could be making, uh, without the libraries, I could be making eight tech with libraries, that would be 16. And as my city goes up, it would go up too. So just to show you guys, it's, it's always good to move. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump to the video. So today we're going to be doing the tech line and the tech line importance and just basically that, not the tech line, um, not really the uh, first tech of the tech line because I did do a video on the importance of what you get from getting it first. So uh, let's go ahead and jump to it. Let's go ahead and jump over here to the uh, tech planner. It's always good to use your tech planner if you don't. Like I said, you can see the ones, see that nobody has any of these techs. That's because the game just started. But um, we're going to start out doing the bronze tech line. Why? Because bronze tech line is pretty good. It's really good to have archers. Now, before I do get into it, I'm going to let you guys know now. You might be thinking, what about if I want to go over here and get uh, alphabet and go to writing? It's always okay to branch off from the tech line that you're doing as your main tech line to get, you know, tech stuff that'll help you get through your tech line. But also remember, too, that if you have, you're making enough tech that all this tech that um, everybody's making themselves, like somebody, let's say somebody got alphabet and you're making 30 tech per turn, well, from backstepping from my first video, you would unlock alphabet without even have to, having to um, go for it. And then you have stuff like pottery. Let's say you're trying to get to construction, but you want to take the bronze working tech line. Well, if you pay attention here, you go from pottery to masonry to construction. Whereas if you're trying to do bronze working too, you go from bronze working, iron working to construction. So if you weren't trying to go for masonry or pottery, then that saves you the time of getting those two techs and you can go directly to construction. That's just one tech, depending on whatever tech you're doing. You gotta, you, you can do your own messing around with it and figure it out. But anyway, so first of all, I'm gonna start off with, by using the uh, Browns Working Simplopedia because I don't wanna get anything wrong and it's also good for you guys to know how important going to your Simplopedia could be. Well, if we go over here, we already know what it gives us, but it tells you down here what it gives you and all the important stuff but we know it gives us archers but some of us may not know that not only does it give us archers it gives us well if you don't know if it gives you barracks then i am pretty surprised you know it gives you archers but anyway it gives us colossus which is <laughs> colossus is like the most important in my opinion if you get a colossus it doubles your trade and if you don't know what a wonder does for you then you can just click a on it which will take you to the Colossus and tell you what's, what, what it does. It gives you, um, I mean, an obsolete at invention. So if somebody gets invention and it destroys your Colossus, you need bronze working and down there it tells you. But that's just another story. So let's go back over here to bronze working and see where we can go with it. So bronze working. Um, bronze working not only does that, it gives you the access to fish, which is basically um, getting two food spots from the sea. So if you see fish, that's what it gives you, two fish from the uh, from the sea, or two food spots from the sea. And also it unlocks currency, iron working, and that guy with a weird head. I don't know what he does, so <laughs> I'm not going to really go on to that. But if we look at the, um, if we look at the, uh, the advantage to going to iron working, then that unlocks construction. It also unlocks, um, uh, I don't think I can remember this exactly. Uh, I think that's steam power too. It might be steam power. Yeah. Wait. Ah, messed up there. I think it's steam power. So yes, it unlocks steam power and metal bridge. Now you might think that's not important. Sorry, I'm trying to get used to the controls again. Also, it unlocks iron if you're by iron, which gives you production. That's good. But anyway, now you, you might uh, be thinking steam power is pretty up there. But if you're somehow starting out pretty strong and it's before um. It's before uh, AD, and you're pushing like 100 tech. I think this would be a perfect tech line to go for because steam power. If you go down here to see, 
it basically unlocks but it basically unlocks almost everything that you could possibly go for now there are these two exceptions up here that you need something else like this uh for combustion for, ah, for combustion you uh you need either with steam power you need either, need either gunpowder or metals for electricity you need um either metals or i can't remember what the other one is it's something back there i mean i could show you guys just so you guys can know because i don't remember so this is the best thing about civilpedia you need um if i can get used to using this thing yeah engineering okay so you need engineering are the other two so that's really good but for these you only need steam power because you can tech jump without getting baking you can um you don't even need a tech jump for railroads because it's legitly right there and you can tech, tech jump for steam now if we look from uh what it gives us past that there's automobile there's mass production mass production corporation and communism there's um electronics and atomic theory flight and automobile i'm not going to go past this line because that's going to be in the second part to this video because we got all this stuff over here that's going to take a lot of time but besides that that's what you can go for from going from just um iron working if you have the tech also um iron working doesn't give you just that it also gives you the ability to um get to it, it gives you the ability to go for what was oh yeah metals now you can go directly to metals we just saw what we got from metals but that's only a personal choice if you if you need metals if you want to go for war or something you know there you go but also we have construction so let's go ahead and jump over to construction it only unlocks one thing for uh, advantages as in going to a next tech but if we look to what it actually gives us let's go ahead and do that really quick it gives us um we know it gives us the uh the just what is it i can't think of the name i can't i can't think of the name right now um oh shocks workshop workshop there it is okay so if we know it gives us a workshop which allows us to build if we have heels and it, if you have heels and you build a workshop i think it goes up to two or three or i think it's third i'm not i'm not completely sure on that one but it's two or three it's basically it, it's really good to build a workshop that's that's the most important part and also it unlocks oak so if you buy oak you can get that extra production and also we can go up to engineering from construction and as well we got another weird looking guy which we don't know what he does i mean you can research if you want to but i don't think he's important now if you go to engineering keep in mind that that unlocks the, the uh, tech tree of invention which if you had noticed invention also needs literacy so that actually goes back to the tech line of alphabet so if you're going for alphabet you can go up to writing literacy then if you had enough invention so two tech lines actually to show you a little bit of alphabet that can branch off to the same ender down here which is um well ender i mean ending <laughs> uh for for invention so that's good to know and let's go all the way back let's go all the way back to uh the one that we didn't go to so let's say you didn't want to go for that let's say you didn't want to go construction engineering invention or you wanted to go up to steam power or metals let's say you actually wanted to do gold now you can go for bronze working straight to currency that would allow you to build markets and let's go in depth to make sure we get everything in here so it allows you to also I don't think I explained this one in the advantages of getting this first. If you get it first, it does give you a caravan, if I'm correct. I think it gives you a caravan. Um, yep, you get a caravan, so if you get that first. I didn't say that one because uh, it's not all that important to get a caravan because you can get them in the beginning of the game. It also, like I said, lets you build a market. It unlocks the trade fair, which I think triples your, your gold. I think it triples, let's check it out. Let's be sure because we're, we're trying to get through everything. Um, if it doesn't triple, nope, it doubles your gold. Okay, so I was wrong. It doubles your gold, which is still pretty, pretty good because if you have uh, banking, which is going to put it out up a lot, it's always good to have those. So back to the encyclopedia of this. We're going to see what else it gives us. And after that, we have gold. It unlocks gold if you're near gold. Banking, which is what I was going to go on to next. But let's go over here to see that, um... It's two of these two things. Honestly, I don't I don't know what this is. I I, I could click on it because I don't know what it is. Um, well, oh, I think that's the victory. If I'm correct, if I I might be wrong. I think it's a victory. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's not what we're looking at. We're trying to look at 
what it gives us next, which is banking. Banking allows you to build a bank and it also unlocks industrialization. And if you go back to my other video where I was going on important text, industrialization gives you five plus gold production for each of your cities. So that's very important if you have a lot of cities because you're, let's say you have 10 cities, like I said before, then you have five gold production in each. If I'm correct, I might be wrong. Don't, don't, uh, you know, don't hit me on this one, but I think it's 50 plus per turn and so on so on you can go for corporation which i believe gives you gold and uh for corporation electronics i don't remember what it gives you i think it's two plus trade mass media is up in population and so on but anyway that's off subject so you can see from here from this first part that going from bronze working you can unlock iron working construction engineering and invention and then so on to steam power now or you can go up to actually to gunpowder if we go from the other line, we can go from iron working, we can go directly up to steam power if we were making the tech, or directly up to metallurgy if we were making up the, making the tech. Well, actually, no, not for metals. You need engineering. That's that's the requirement for metals. So you need from this tech line, you would go to for that for that tech job, you would need to do bronze working, iron working, construction. I think. Wait, my bad. No. Yeah, actually, let's see. Let's see. Brown working, iron working, construction, engineering. Sorry about that one. So yeah, you would go up there, and then you can go up to uh, go back to here, and uh, let's see, what was it? Metals might be a confusing one. Hold on. Yeah, metals is a little bit too confusing. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So uh, you need it. Engineering. Okay, so yeah, you could go from this tech line. If you're going for metals, you would need to go for bronze working, iron working, construction, and engineering directly to metals because metals needs engineering and it needs iron working. My bad, guys. I got a little confused with them. But you can do that, or you could go to bronze working, currency, banking, and past the whole tech line that we're stopping at up to industrialization. So basically, that's it for uh, bronze working and. If I didn't cover what it gives you, like I said, you can do the uh, Simplopedia. I'm trying to keep the video a little bit short because uh, I think we're at like 12 minutes now. Probably a little old, over. But you can do all those tech lines and get to here or past here and go up to industrialization and so on. Now, the second part, we're going to cover the rest of it. What, what, like stuff past industrialization, up to mass media, and the importance of what you can get for nuclear power and all that cool stuff. But that's about it for this video. So... If you have any questions, like I always say, leave it down there in the um, comment section below. I love to I love to, try to respond to all your questions because it's like, hey, you're paying attention. <laughs> I know you're paying attention. And I'm not just talking to myself right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If not, let me know why. That's about it. So try hard, Affinity. Signing out.